The remains of an ancient sea monster have been discovered, revealing the earliest known instance of a mega-predatory pliosaur. Scientists have identified the remains of a prehistoric marine reptile dating back 170 million years to the age of dinosaurs. The fossilized creature is believed to be the earliest known megapredator pliosaur, a species of sea-dwelling reptiles closely linked to the well-known long-necked plesiosaurs. This discovery is a rare one and has contributed valuable insights into the evolution of the plesiosaur. The findings have been published in the journal Scientific Reports. Forty years prior, a discovery was made in the northeastern region of France in the form of fossils. Recently, an international group of paleontologists from various institutions, including the Naturkunde Museum Bielefeld in Germany, the Institute of Paleobiology of the Polish Academy of Sciences in Warsaw, Poland, the Natural History Museum in Luxembourg, and the Museum of Evolution at Uppsala University in Sweden, conducted an analysis of these fossils. As a result of their analysis, a new genus of pliosaur was identified and named Lorenosaurus. Pliosaurs, a particular class of plesiosaur, boasted short necks and large skulls. Their existence dates back to over 200 million years ago, but they were not highly influential members of the marine ecosystem until they underwent a significant transformation into massive apex predators. This transformation occurred due to the differentiation in feeding niches and the declination of other predatory marine reptiles worldwide, as evidenced by a recent study. The study indicates that this shift in adaptation occurred over 170 million years ago. The Lorenosaurus is a pliosaur that is the earliest known example of a large-bodied species with a complete and associated skeleton. Its formidable jaws measured over 1.3 meters in length, featuring large conical teeth. The Lorenosaurus had a robust torpedo-shaped physique, which was propelled by four flipper-like appendages. According to Sven Sachs, a researcher at Naturkunde Museum Bielefeld who spearheaded the study, Lorenosaurus was among the initial immensely large pliosaurs. This species was responsible for the emergence of a lineage of colossal marine reptilian predators that dominated the seas for a period of approximately 80 million years. During the early Middle Jurassic period, there existed a colossal reptile that was estimated to measure more than six meters from its snout to the tip of its tail. Interestingly, there is very minimal information available regarding plesiosaurs belonging to this era. According to Daniel Madzia, co-lead of the study at the Institute of Paleobiology of the Polish Academy of Sciences, the identification of Lorenosaurus as one of the earliest mega-predatory pliosaurs is significant because it occurred soon after a major restructuring of marine predator ecosystems during the early to middle Jurassic boundary, approximately 175 to 171 million years ago. This event had a profound impact on numerous marine reptile groups and ultimately resulted in the dominance of mega-predatory pliosaurids over other predatory plesiosaurs, fish-like ichthyosaurs and ancient marine crocodile relatives. During their time, pliosaurs were highly proficient predators within marine ecosystems. According to Benjamin Keir, senior co-author and researcher in paleontology at the Museum of Evolution, Uppsala University, renowned examples of pliosaurs, such as Pliosaurus and Kronosaurus, which are among the largest pliosaurs in the world, were colossal with body lengths that exceeded 10 meters. These prehistoric creatures were the ecological counterparts of modern killer whales and would feed on a variety of prey, including cephalopods that resembled squids, large fish, and other marine reptiles. All of these prey items have been discovered in the gut contents of these ancient beasts. The remains of Lorenosaurus are composed of recovered bones and teeth. These remains were originally part of a whole skeleton which eventually deteriorated and was scattered throughout the ancient seafloor due to the influence of both scavengers and water currents. Back in 1983, the remains were found in Lorraine, a region in northeastern France, specifically near Metz in a road cutting. The Association Mineralogique et Paléontologique de Ayange et des Environs, a group of enthusiasts in paleontology, were the ones who discovered the fossils and acknowledged the importance of their find. They later decided to donate these fossils to the Luxembourg Natural History Museum. Co-author Ben Tui, who is also the museum's curator, provided these details. 
The fossils of Lorenosaurus, apart from a concise report in 1994, had remained unknown until the recent study that re-evaluated the discoveries. The findings on Lorenosaurus suggest that the era of colossal mega-predatory pliosaurs must have begun earlier than previously assumed. It also reveals that these creatures were susceptible to significant ecological changes that impacted the marine habitats in what is now Western Europe during the early Middle Jurassic period. According to Benjamin Keir, the discovery of Lorenosaurus is a crucial contribution to our understanding of prehistoric marine creatures from a period in the age of dinosaurs that has remained relatively enigmatic until now. To support our channel's growth and ensure broader awareness, kindly hit the like and subscribe buttons. This will help us reach more individuals and disseminate valuable information. Thank you in advance.